you know, people hiding in the back seat pretending that they were sleeping so that you could squeeze in an extra one. Uh, scenes reminiscent of happy days where you actually had people in the trunk of your car and things like that. The driving was like a, it was a great big party, you know, at times, eh? You know, you went and you, uh, you tried to smuggle other people in. And I can recall, of course, in the teenage years, always putting someone in the trunk to get into the drive-in because then you could, wouldn't have to pay as much money to get in. And then once the movie started and the lights were out, then you'd go and quickly let the person out and just hope that no attendant saw, you know, that it was two girls and one guy in a car. And then suddenly there's two girls and two guys in the car. And we got away with it. It worked pretty good. But the funniest thing that happened there at that drive-in was, uh, <laughs> it was the first time I've ever seen it, but there was a streaker that ran through the candy bar at two o'clock in the morning. You know, just some crazy nut and just ran across naked in front of the, through the candy bar. Now, but there was lots of crazy things that happened in drive-ins. There were some really curious things that went on at, uh, at drive-ins, though, with respect to the kinds of cars that were allowed in. I seem to recall there being a policy where uh, mid-50s uh, Nash Rambler station wagons were, were not permitted in the, in the, in the drive-ins, simply because the entire car could be made into a bed. All the seats would fold down, and most of them came with curtains, go figure. It's a Saturday, time to make your way. Grab your friends and go to the local picture show. Get in line for the Saturday matinee.